So how many people could you accommodate? Well, I mean, we've got three bedrooms to sleep six people. Right. And if sometimes people have got a couple of young who can sleep on this convertible sofa, and so you can sleep eight. It's designed really for six with eight and the maximum. And there are occasions when children come and they have friends come and camp in the garden. We don't mind that. I mean, they can come put up a tent in the garden if they want to. They've got lots of space to make. And of course, most of the time, people who are here outside, except if they want to have a siesta in the pool, We go down the corridor here, there's a bathroom there, that's the common bathroom for the two bedrooms that don't have their own in-suite bathroom. Here we've got three bedrooms, what I think we call the master bedroom, which has got its own bathroom and, and its own outlook facing west. The window faces west. Bathroom. With a nice view of the vines out there. And it's got its own bathroom and loo in oh, there. This is excellent for two children, or you can put the beds together. If it's for two adults, you can put those two beds together. It's, it's small, but it's adequate. Very charming. Also a view west. Again, facing west. Over the vines. Yeah, over the vines. This faces south. Yeah, so. yeah. The important thing is everything, people who stay here have the whole area to, to them. It's the terrace outside, or all this of course, and the swimming pool and the garden on the east side and park their cars wherever they want here. We live on the north side, so we're entirely separate. We, we come in at the back and we go into the house at the back on the first and second floor. And so we leave everybody here completely to themselves on the south. All this, everything here, right up to the swimming pool, the garden here, is theirs. Yes. You know, they move the tables and do what they like here, right. and the children can run about.